Hey guys, it's John and uh, this is episode 2 of my redstone series thing. And uh, this series is going to be based on clocks and logic gates. I'm not going to cover every single logic gate obviously. I'm just going to cover the ones I know. Then in episode 3 I'll be covering more logic gates and hopefully the T flip flop gate, I think that's what it's called. I haven't actually used one of them before so it's going to be a new thing for me as well. But uh, first of all I'd like to show you guys something that I didn't show you, show you guys in the last video. If you see here we have um, a ladder, a redstone ladder that, which goes up there to that dispenser. I showed you guys this in my last video but a lot of people said if I just uh, use this one instead it'll be much easier and use less uh, resources and it is actually much easier and does use less resources so I'm going to show you guys that just now. It's pretty simple as just uh, you have redstone on top of blocks like that. Uh, redstone torches I mean sorry. And there we go so now we can just I don't actually have my sound on so you're going to have to trust me with this when uh, we hit the button the item will come out so if we connect this up like that and now we can hit the button and the item should come out hopefully I'd say I forgot to put down this block there we go so if we hit the button the item will come out And there we go. So for this episode I'm going to be showing you guys clocks and uh, logic gates. I have turned off my sound purely because of this rapid pulsar because it makes a lot of noise with that door there. But uh, here, here is the first uh, clock. This is called a five clock. Uh, this is probably one of the most efficient clocks in the game. The problem with clocks uh, in the game just now is if you log out then they will stop. Uh, but the uh, the five clock and the rapid pulsar, the old school clocks in the game will stop and then they'll start going again after maybe a couple seconds, maybe up to a minute. And uh, the equivalent, the new equivalent to clocks is these, using repeaters. These are quite good apart from if you uh, log out then these will stop forever until you start them again. So this is equivalent to a uh, 5 clock, I don't really know what you would call it. I guess it's just a redstone circuit, it's not really a clock technically. This is a rapid pulsar and this is just a really long circuit that which I wanted to show you guys. But I, w I would recommend not using these uh, and just use the old school one or another one that I'll show you guys later. So this is the old school classic uh, rapid pulsar. It's uh, quite inefficient, it doesn't really work very well because it can sometimes uh, sort of, uh, I don't know what the word, it would time out, I don't know if that would be the word but it just stops working and uh, I'll show you guys what happens if I log out. So if I log out and then join back again, it didn't actually stop which kind of doesn't prove my point. <laughs> but if you come over here that these, all of these stopped and they won't start until you start them again but the, the old school ones will not stop. Well they will, they do sometimes stop but they will get going again after a while. Uh, over here we have an AND gate. An AND gate has two inputs into one output so we would need to have both sides of the AND gate activated for the one output to be activated so we'd have to activate this one, nothing happens, the door doesn't open but if we activate this one as well it does open as you can see because these two uh, power sources are powering these two redstone torches which are uh, powering this redstone torch here so if we were to give one of them power, if we were to give one side uh, power, then this redstone torch will be powered, which will turn it off. 
and hence close the door. So that's why we need two inputs for the one output. Over here, this is an OR gate. Simply, you need either side to be on and it'll turn on. But the problem is if you turn one side on, the other side doesn't do anything. Same for the other side. So it's not very good, but I'll go into the uh, better OR gates in a second. This over here, this is called a NOR gate. Uh, the difference between this one and this one is not very much. Simply, the redstone current that comes out of it, the output, is inverted. So, as you can see here, as you can see in this one, the default is that the redstone is not powered and then when, when you give it power, the door will open and it'll turn on. But the, for this one, the default is that the redstone is on and the door is open and when you hit a lever it will turn off and close the door. So they're pretty much exactly the same thing, there's not really much difference apart from the inverted redstone current. This is called an X OR gate, it, it's slightly more uh, complicated than an OR gate. It is pretty much the same thing but if we come back over here, as you can see if I hit one lever then the other one doesn't actually work. And that's the difference between the X OR gate and a normal OR gate. So if we hit this side, the door will open. And then we can actually hit the other side and it'll close. Then we can hit this side, open it again, close it, open it, open it. I mean, open it, close it, open it, close it, open it, close it, open it. So you can keep doing that and it's uh, very reliable. It's a good gate. I actually used it in a couple of my videos and yeah, so if we come over here, this is exactly the same thing as this apart from, like we said before, this is a X NOR gate. The default for the output is ON instead of OFF. So the door is open when it's actually not, none of it's activated. So then if we activate it, it will close. So it's just exactly the same thing apart from the default output is on instead of off, like this one. If we come over here, this is a good gate, it's uh, called a... wait what's it called again? It's called, I think it's called a memory cell. If we come over here, we, if we hit one side, then um, this side will be activated and open the door, and the other side will not be activated and close the door. But then if we, we can go to the other side and activate ac activate this side then this door will open and that one will close. So basically what happens is this side is activated and then this side and then this side and this side. So neither, you can't activate both sides at the same time. And it's pretty much the same as a lever apart from with two outputs or more than two outputs. As many outputs as you'd want to add. So. Now let's get go on to uh, let's go back to the clocks, and I want to show you guys uh, a different version of a clock like this. So, like I told you, if you log out, it can sometimes stop like that. It does start again, but it takes a it might take a little while. But a good way of getting around this is using a mine a minecart clock, and I'll build one of them just now. They're really easy to build, they're really easy to understand, and all it is kind of resource intensive, but I guess if you really need one, it's probably worth it. So all you really need to do is have a circuit. Uh, you can make it as big as you want. The bigger it is, the slower the clock is. I'm going to make it, this is about the usual size that I would make it, and all you really need to do is build a circuit, with at least one detector rail and it does exactly the same thing as a clock would do and my phone has decided to make a noise but there we go so it's quite basic you can make it really small and it'll pulse faster you can make it really big and it'll pulse much slower uh, kind of similar to the uh, five clock so if we were to add a door to it over here 
yeah, so that's about it really for this video. Logic gates uh, and clocks, the ones that I know, and then in the next video I will have more logic gates uh, that I don't actually know and I'll learn them. And yeah, so as you can see these clocks have started again. It doesn't take very long, but I would recommend this clock probably if you're going to be using a clock. And I'll show you guys a couple of examples of what you can use a clock for. So if we were to come over here, as you can see in the last video I showed you guys that you can use redstone to activate a dispenser and it'll shoot an arrow. But if we were to link up the dispenser with a clock, then what would happen I wonder? It would keep firing, so if I get some arrows uh, I don't know which, but yeah, uh, there we go. It will keep firing. This is what the, the rapid pulser is good for. So if we were to hook this up with a dispenser and a lot of arrows, it's going to shoot hopefully really fast. It doesn't seem to be working that great just now, probably because I've got lots of other clocks running. But yeah, so that's a good use of clocks. There are lots of other ways that you can utilize clocks and logic gates. If you want to see how to use logic gates, look up my piston series. There's a, I've got a playlist. I've got a couple of videos with logic gates in them. Like I have a lava bridge which makes use of the XOR gate and uh, a lava hallway which makes use of this, the memory cell. And yeah, so that's about it really and I'll see you guys later.